There's an energy in here. Oh, there is a vibe. It is crazy though. Everybody's waving to us. This is like insane. It's just crazy. Officially here in the Philippines. I'm already feeling so excited I can't wait to show you what we're about to do today. This is going to be pretty much our first impressions of the city We're gonna walk around. We're gonna go and see a mall. We're gonna go and see the city. It's just gonna be amazing So our plan for today is to just walk. This is the street where our hotel is and we're just going to walk and see what the city is like. He's posing. Oh, you're camera. posing! <laughs> nice to meet you. Bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs> so cute and friendly. We're in the Passe area. So we're just going to explore a little bit and then we're going to make our way to Makati and maybe see some of like the different kind of city life. Oh what God. an energy! Another time! Where are we? We're in Manila! Careful, we? there's a car! <laughs> Jeez, I gotta really watch out for all the cars! We're already hitting the town running, we're gonna go and check out the streets. We've already got such a nice warm welcome from all the locals, they're just incredible! What a vibe! I don't know where we're going. <laughs> but we're going. It is crazy though. So Manila has a much higher population than Bangkok and because we've just come from there, I'm sure some of our interactions or comparisons will be to Bangkok. What are these? Look how cool this is! There's cars, there's people, there's bikes, there's tricycles, there's these cool little tuk-tuks. I'm sure they're not called tuk-tuks, so we're gonna have to figure out what the name is. First thing we noticed, everything is in English. We're not used to that. Wow, this is the first GP. So cool. Everybody's waving to us. This is like insane. This is like one of the main streets. It's so loud. They hoot a lot more than they do in Bangkok. Yeah, a lot. Everyone's so friendly. There's an energy in here. Oh, there is a vibe. I mean, we've been out for five seconds. And there is. Look at these. They're so cool. That is so cool. But it is crazy though. Yeah, it's so cool. Morning. Everyone just wants to say hello. This is awesome. Wow. I, I'm completely overwhelmed, but in the best way. One thing that is going to take some getting used to is they drive on the right hand side of the road. Yeah. Where in Thailand, they drive on the left. Because they were colonized by the States, there's a big American influence, and that's one of the things. But they were actually colonized by the Spanish first and then the Americans. So just from our first few minutes, we can actually kind of see the Western influence just from the way people walk, the way they dress. So I think throughout today, we're going to just learn more and more about how <laughs> Filipinos are. Smiling. <laughs> called jeepneys and the story behind it is there were millions of them left over after the world war here in the Philippines. The Filipino people are so innovative they just converted them into pretty much like tuk-tuks the ones that you see in Thailand. They are used for transportation up to this day which means they're over 70 years old. crazy I'm a bit like overwhelmed there's just so many people so much happening but in a good way I just love the energy here we're gonna kind of make our way towards the Makati area as well as BGC which is one of the main 
districts here in Manila and I really hope you can hear me because with all the ambience, with all the hooting, with all the noise <laughs> it's just crazy <laughs> it's still gonna take me a while to get fully stuck in but I already feel like I'm, I'm here, we've got such a nice welcome I can't wait to see more of Manila They have 7 Eleven, so that's something we know. But also, it's a little bit similar to Bangkok because there are the wires everywhere. But definitely a different feeling here. So, we're going to go to one of the biggest malls in Asia right now. And we've just ordered a grab, same as they use in Thailand. He's three minutes away, and then we'll be there. Okay, are you ready? Ready? Okay. Oh, it's crazy. You have to be quick. You have to be quick. Oh, the oh, the oh, the <laughs> We're on our way to the mall. One of the biggest malls in the Philippines. And that is something I am very excited for. Uh, how do you say hello in Filipino? Kamusta? Uh, Kamusta? Uh, okay. Uh, and thank you. Thank you, Salamat. Salamat. Salamat po. Yes. Po. Thank you very much. Oh, Salamat. Thank you very much. Salamat po. Good boy, Mabait. Good boy. Mabait. Mabait. Thank you so much. Thank you. Have a good day. Thank you. What a cool day. That's so friendly. Now we are at SM Mall of Asia. It is over 589 square meters, which is absolutely mad. And we love shopping. We came here because we know that the Filipinos love to shop. It is one of the shopping capitals of the world. So we're gonna go and check it out and see what it's about. See what the fuss is all about. And also the weather is not so hot. Yeah, it's not, not as, as hot, hot as Bangkok. Definitely. definitely. <laughs> <laughs> Giant mall. Let's oh the aircon's nice. Look at that. Oh hey guys. Haven't seen that in a while. There's a full ice skating rink. It looks so popular. Okay, so we just found this cute little cafe in the middle of the mall called 19 Degrees and it looks so cute, so aesthetic. They have yogurt drinks, tea, it kind of reminds me of bubble tea, so it looks good. I guess we're gonna try it out. Two. Wow, okay. Right, we got so these cool drinks. They're like a chocolate, but they're sealed on top. That looks so cool. And we paid 120 peso for it. So how much is that? Just over two dollars. We're still thinking in baht. So <laughs> yeah. it's about 75 baht for one of these. We need to get used to changing the currency. This mall is huge. Yeah. And you can see right now it's midweek, <laughs> midday, and there are so many people shopping. So there's definitely a shopping culture here. So we're gonna have a little quick drink, which is so cute. And then we're gonna continue. There's definitely a lot more of like an American and Spanish influence, even Mexican. They have fast food chains like Wendy's, Shakey's, Chili's, which we've never tried before, but we've heard of them. I'm like freaking out. They have a TGI Fridays here in the Philippines. They don't have this in Thailand. One of the best meals I've ever had was at a TGI Fridays. So I'm sure at some stage we'll try this out. So cool, we're at the promenade 
we got to see so much in just one day. It's unbelievable. There's such a cool, relaxed vibe here on the promenade. All along the way, there are all these food stalls and everyone's kind of just riding their bike or jogging, taking a walk. It looks oh, nice. awesome. Yeah, it, it's it's so a cool. lot, a lot more relaxed than where we were earlier this morning. Oh yeah, we went from like two polar opposites, crazy, busy traffic, and now we're just like chilling and relaxing. It's so cool. Do you want the shot? What is this? Ducky. Look at all these ducks. Oh. Are we doing this? We're doing this, why not? Oh my gosh. Ever since I was a kid, I've been obsessed with Ferris wheels. I don't know what it is, but I absolutely love going on the Ferris wheel. I guess this is my first Ferris wheel experience in the Philippines. It's a 150 per head. Awesome! I'm keen! Thank you. I'm happy wow. and proud of We get to see the city! <gasps> wow, what an experience! Oh my gosh! <laughs> oh my god, this is so cool! Our first day is really <laughs> jam-packed! What an awesome way to see the city on your first day. I'm really happy about This is so cool. Look, look, look how, how beautiful the city is. It's quite scary actually. <laughs> <laughs> look at the, the beautiful sea. Are you alright? <laughs> I was so excited to do this that I didn't take into account that I'm going to actually be going really high up. <laughs> and now I'm like, whoa, that is a little oh, scary. No. <laughs> oh my gosh, look at this. Look how cool this is. We're already so high up. Not even at the top yet. I was so excited for Shiv to do this. I just wanted to spoil her, but I didn't take into account that I need to go on it this <laughs> way. And you're slightly afraid of heights for some reason. <laughs> Poor guy. <laughs> this is so awesome. This is awesome. We're actually going so high up. Let me show you. It doesn't do justice on camera. Oh my god, it's actually really high up. Why is it so shaky up here? Why did we go on a windy day? Why did we go on the windiest day ever? He's enjoying but in a scared way. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, wow, that was awesome. I really enjoyed that. Wow. <laughs> I'm happy we did that. I'm so happy we did that. What a day. I am made to be free. We've now brought you to an area called BGC, which is the Bonifacio Global City. This is sort of the higher end part of Manila, and we just want to get a vibe and see what it's like. You can see from the buildings behind me that this is a high end. We're on the Bonifacio High Street right now, which is kind of the main intersection. There are lots of high end shops, restaurants. And it's so cool, it's so fancy. We're in this like outdoor shopping area and there's so many chain restaurants, Starbucks, Jollibee's, which is the most famous food chain here in the Philippines. We're gonna have to try that out soon, sooner or later. So I think we're gonna take a quick look around and see what we can find. reminds me a lot of like Central Park but it also reminds me of our hometown South Africa and Johannesburg. This is kind of what Johannesburg looks like. It looks like Santon or Rosebank and it's kind of familiar to me which is awesome. So far we've been able to see so many completely different sides of Manila. We've seen the crowdedness, the chaos, we've seen one of the biggest malls in Asia and now we're seeing the other side of Manila which is the business sector, lots of high-end shops. It's really cool that Manila has everything. Wow, what a place. There are just so many shops. I was not expecting this here in Manila. And we're just walking, we're planning on going down there. And it just goes on and on and on. <laughs> I know, this has really took me by surprise, but I'm actually really, really impressed. 
wow, what a day we've had. We've actually just stopped now at a restaurant called Pound and they give you these cute little glasses of water. Cheers, what a day we've had. Thank you so much to the Philippines for welcoming us. We've had the best, best day ever. I can't even tell you how nice our day was. And we have another reason to cheers. At this moment, we have just hit 20K. 20,000 wow. subscribers is Oh my god. Mind blowing for Thank us. Thank you so much to everyone who supported us so much this far. Like the amount of support we've received, the encouragement, everything means so much to us and we can't thank you enough. Keep sending recommendations, attractions that we can visit because we read every single comment <laughs> and it helps us a lot. Yes. It helps us get around. So thank you. Yes, we love hearing from you. So send as much as you can. <laughs> We're just gonna now order some food. We're gonna relax in the most beautiful part of town. And I think I feel like a pasta. So I'm gonna eat a pasta. Yeah. I can't believe how excited I am to be in the city and so, so impressed by what I've seen today. We've managed to do so much. We've had so such a warm welcome from the Filipinos. So we're only here for a few days in Manila and then we're going to be heading south to some of the beautiful islands. So make sure you're subscribed, hit the bell so you get notified when those videos come out and we'll see you on the next one. Bye.